Welcome to Module 1, Defensive Shifting, Basic. This module will teach you how to shift as a defensive unit when the ball is in a wired area using the pressure, cover, balance model. As we see here, the highlighted player in the center of the field has possession of the ball, and the four defenders for blue are symmetrical and balanced in their shape. As the ball is played out wired, let's watch how they shift. The player closest to the ball should be the one to step to the ball first and apply pressure. The next defender should then slide here, close enough to help out the step defender if the player with the ball takes a big touch around them, providing cover for this space. Then, the remaining defenders should slide over, providing balance for their team, keeping the defensive unit connected and compact. It's also important that the defenders shift together as a unit, all at the same time, so that they do not leave any gaps open for the opposing team to exploit. We can see that the defenders are now in this arc shape, with this player applying pressure on the ball, this player covering the space, and these two players maintaining balance across the back. While this shows a back line with four defenders, the same concepts of pressure, cover, balance, will apply to the back line of any structure. Let's watch some film and see it in action. In this first clip, we will see an example of good defensive shifting. As the ball is played into the player at the bottom of the screen, let's pause and look at the defensive shape of the white team. First, we can see that the closest defender, here, has slid out to apply pressure on the ball. Next, we see the second defender, here, providing cover for this space, close enough to help out in case the pressuring defender gets beat. Finally, we see the other two defenders providing balance, keeping their team compact and connected. It's important for these players to be constantly aware of a quick switch to their side of the field. As we can see, the back line for the white team has successfully created the arc shape that we mentioned earlier in the video. Now let's see an example of bad defensive shifting. This time, we see a long switch to the wide player on the blue team. As he receives it and drives forward, we see the pressuring defender allowing a bit too much space between himself and the dribbler, as he should be around arm's length away. Second, we see that no one is providing cover, with the second defender here not even looking in that direction, leaving a large gap between the pressuring defender and the goal. Let's resume play. As the ball moves around, the blue player maintains possession and the white team is now in this shape. When providing cover, you should have enough space between you and the pressuring defender so that the player with the ball cannot beat both of you at the same time. Here, we see this covering defender caught too close to the player who is pressuring, which, as we can see, allows them both to be beat with one quick touch. Now that you've seen some examples of both good and bad defensive shifting, move on to the lesson to work through some scenarios for yourself.